Welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial. My name is Jonas and in this video I want to show how we can create an interactable foliage um, setup. So uh, for this we will be using uh, I will be using um, uh, Unreal Engine 4.11 Preview 6 I think but you can use uh, wh whatever of these versions uh, just as well. I think it should be working um, just fine. In the video I used uh, 4.10.4 um, so um, just gonna see if this uh, anything has changed in uh, some of the recent versions um, so we're gonna create a third-person uh, example here called this toot we don't need any starter content so just go ahead and create that and we're also gonna need some folders to work with so I'm gonna borrow some from the library uh, specifically the open world demo collection so add that to the project so and select show all to see this one and select 4.10 so and add it all right so right now it's, it's adding all the files it's a fairly um, large um, set of assets so it's uh, 6.4 gigabytes and um, let me just bring that over Okay, so I like to bring in the third person character blueprint to the mannequin folder, but that's just a per personal uh, preference. So as we will see here, we have the kite demo folder, and under that we have the environments, and we have um, some foliage here. And uh, before I do anything, I want to import my um, keyboard input settings because I'm a lefty and uh, this is not really uh, something you need to do uh, for your project to get this to work just because I use G-K-L-Y-I uh, keyboard um, setup, so that's all I did. So anyway, I uh, assume that also that you have uh, um, been experimenting at least with the foliage tool so that's kind of at the level I am um, and uh, so so you have probably seen that you can drag in a few meshes here and then you can use the foliage tool to populate your, your world quite pretty quickly with uh, tons of uh, cool foliage here um, it's it's what we want to um, experiment with this uh, with in this video um, so what we uh, want to achieve here is to be able to interact with these when we walk through them so they will um, collide with us our body and bend away like a, a normal plant would do and um, I will be using a little trick that I um, yeah it's kind of a, a little trick I think um, so before you get too excited about this uh, this is kind of a trick so um, yeah just um, bear with over with me uh, because I hope this will be uh, kind of a, one of those nice tricks um, so let's get uh, get all these out of the way again um, we don't want to be use all be using all of them um, let's get rid of the bug model so we can uh, just use this SM fern one so the the fern in here um, has uh, Actually, I think all the the static meshes in the uh, kite demo project has uh, three LODs. So it has a base LOD with uh, about two thousand triangles, and then uh, level one with about seven eight hundred, and uh, low version uh, poly version with uh, about two hundred. Um, I'm not a three artist of any kind, so I have no idea. Um, if this is a lot or uh, very little all I know is that um, when I export this I only get this exported um, with the the base LOD version so since I'm gonna need to export this eventually uh, and do a little uh, work on it um, this is the version I'm gonna get out and if somebody out there uh, is watching this and, and know how to get them out and then get them in again um, please feel free to comment on the, the video uh, or post on the forum um, how this is done because there was kind of bummer that I couldn't figure out how this was gonna work okay um, so 
let's see if we can uh, figure out a good way to start this. Um, yeah. Um, if you have watched some of my other videos, you will have maybe have heard that I created a video about uh, physics ragdoll uh, behavior uh, for a character. And you may also have seen that I uh, experimented a little bit with um, angular motors um, on the physics assets. And that's actually what I'm going to be uh, using in this video as well. So um, if you haven't watched it already, go ahead and watch it. It's, it, it has a little bit more information on how they work. Um, so this was that was actually also my uh, initial um, reason that I started to look into this. And um, also I want to thank uh, Tona for uh, being the inspiration uh, to create exactly kind of like uh, these uh, interactable foliage because I uh, saw he made a pretty cool setup and um, kind of thought that that would be a nice thing to see if I could uh, recreate. Um, so thank you. Um, so let's see. Um, right now if I just paint Blah, blah, blah. I'm just talking uh, really and it's already six minutes in the video uh, okay so if I uh, I've dumped some foliage here um, and um, if I want to be able to collide with these um, or, or interact with them I need to be able to collide with them basically okay um, if I should see the LEDs in effect here and see the, the shadows change when I walk back and forth um, or at least on some of them, yeah. Okay, anyway. Um, so, first of all, um, if we uh, click on this one down here, we can see, um, i just got to make this a little bit smaller. Uh, yeah. So if we click this one, this the, the fern down here, and uh, scroll down a little bit, we can see this has a collision preset set to no collision. So if I set this to just to see how we can interact with this to block all and then play again and we will see that we can still run through them which is uh, initially a little bit um, puzzling so uh, let's take a look at uh, the mesh itself so in here we can see we don't have a collision set up for this so um, for now, I'm just going to make a very simple um, collision um, detection for this, and that's actually all we're going to need. So I'm just going to select a sphere, and just going to check if it's kind of in the middle. Looks like it could use a little tweak to the side. Doesn't really matter this, um, uh, just as long as we have a collision set up. Okay. So if I now run into this guy, okay, amazing. I think my computer just froze, um, or not, or yes, or not. All right, great. Um, anyway, so as we can see now, um, we can actually walk on top of the, the foliage, which is not what we are after. But um, now we can see we have a way to interact with them at least. Um, so we're going to use uh, this way to see if we are um, touching them. Um, so what we can do, because right now we're just uh, walking into them. Um, and we kind of want them to behave uh, as a physics body, so it would bend away. And uh, to do that, we need a physics asset. Uh, and this is just a regular static mesh, so we don't really have a skeleton for this. Uh, so the way to do this is to export it. Um, put this in the, in the folder I already created. And um, for this video, I, I'm going to use uh, Maya, but um, you can use whatever uh, 3D application that you have a uh, preference of. Uh, you can use, uh, all you need to do is to create 
a very simple skeleton and then you need to uh, paint some weights on uh, to the the joints uh, on the, this, the mesh to the joints and uh, that's actually all you need to do um, but I will show how I do this in Maya and uh, hopefully you can follow along if you use Blender or something or 3D Max or whatever so here we have the the mesh itself and um, let's see first of all we need to add the skeleton so uh, under rigging we have this um, joint tool I've used this several times before so if you've seen some of my other videos you will know uh, kind of what I'm doing right now uh, but if you haven't um, yeah well I will explain step by step what I do so um, press space I like to do this from the top view uh, it's a little bit easier uh, so from the top view select this one and press space again to get uh, to the top view um, and then select the joint tool and then just click somewhere here and so that is going to create our root don't really need to call a root just a good habit of, uh, in the habit of uh, doing that so we want to create one joint for each of the leaves so we have one two three four five leaves so this is going is going to be uh, uh, let's call them branches so this is going to be branch one so um, uh, the easiest way to do this inside here is to open up the outliner and then click the root and then shift click left click to create the next and click the root again and shift click Jesus that ended up the wrong way place okay anyway and shift click and shift click so that's gonna create I don't know why they land here so we need to adjust them but this is going to create these joints under the root so that's actually what I just wanted to do so I'm just going to move them approximately to the um, to the end here and this one goes here and this one goes here and this one is already correct so if we switch back again to the for example the side view um let's see the joint one i can't really see but joint two seems to be this one so i'm just going to drag it up here joint three looks like it's this one and joint four looks like this one and joint five it's probably that one and joint one i don't know if we can see joint one where are you some speed this one so um, let's go back to the um, this view so we can see now we have a, a very 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 basic skeleton setup and the reason I'm uh, two reasons I'm doing it so simple and the first reason is uh, um, because I know it can kind of work this way and the second one is that I hope this is going to be a little uh, better on performance if we don't have too many uh, joints uh, in, in the skeleton uh, okay so uh, all we need right now if we um, we have a skeleton set up and if I move any of these you can see I, I can just move that around but it's not going to affect uh, the rest of the, the mesh here so uh, we want uh, want the, the each of the branches here to uh, move according to the, the, the this joint here so I'm going to call this uh, branch one just going to re rename these and I think once I've done that I will continue in the next video and uh, so we can uh, start weight painting in here um, okay so um, we are ready to begin weight painting and uh, that will we we will be doing in the next video so stay tuned and uh, thank you for watching I hope you will enjoy bye bye